Hi, this is Duct Tape Susie, and what I have here are lunch bag coolers. Um, I will run through them each really quick, but I made these specifically for Hope and Jason, my niece and nephew. Um, Jason is in first grade this year, and he likes SpongeBob. And my niece Hope is in kindergarten this year, and she loves Justin Bieber. She sings all the songs. So, anyways, um, I'll just do a run through real quick. I'm really sorry. I did try to make a tutorial while I was making a Justin Bieber one. It was pretty um, difficult. I haven't really gone through all the video, the little clips yet to see how it turned out. Um, I may post it later on. I'm not really sure because it took a lot of time. So I'm just going to run through them really fast. Okay, so as you know, it's a Justin Bieber tape. You kind of have to line it up because otherwise you just really can't make out what it is. Um, which I had already did a women's wallet, a mini accordion, a couple of days ago. And it seemed to be a really big hit. Um, but I made this one for Hope as a lunch bag. And um, in case you don't know, um, actually they're made out of bubble wrap and duct tape. And um, if you want the, me the measurements for these, I can give you the measurements. Maybe that way you can do it yourself. Um, so anyways, I'll go through it really fast. So on this, I had to line up the tape as best as I possibly could. And what I did was I lined it up on my cutting mat and then put it on top of the bubble wrap because otherwise you're going to have one sticky mess. So that is what I did with the tape. You can see it all lines up. Now when you're sealing your bag up, you have to seal your edges and the bottom. And when you do that, you have to be really careful when you're lining things up because unfortunately when you're lining it up and you're just cutting off pieces thinking you can just stick it together, well it doesn't turn out so good. So I had redid it two or three times to see the seals I was. Um, so it does line up really nicely. So anyways, you have a handle right here, which is just made out of duct tape. Got the purple underneath, uh, Justin Bieber on the top. And then I um, did the trim in purple. And then you have your Velcro. And the inside I did all purple. Sorry for the bad lighting. Try to show you the best that I can. Okay. And um, yeah, so basically you just fold it like um, like a paper bag. And um, so this is the Justin Bieber one. And my nephew loves SpongeBob, um, but he also plays uh, Mario on our Wii a lot. So I decided to do Mario on the inside. And knowing that it didn't match, so I didn't put any on the outside. But it gave it a nice little touch. So SpongeBob tape, unfortunately, doesn't line up as much as I tried. I could not get it to line up for nothing. So if somebody else actually gets it to line up perfectly, I would be so happy to see that. So anyways, I did um, the handle on it as well. And I just did black underneath. And I also clear taped this one um, just because it had too much sticky on the sides and I didn't want it to rub off and then get really dirty. So I did the black trim on it. Here is the Velcro on it. And when you open it up, you have all Mario, Super Mario inside. And I lined that up because that actually can be lined up on <laughs> SpongeBob, unfortunately. I had no luck whatsoever. But as you see, it still looks super cute. And yeah, so these things are awesome because you can take something that's cold and you can take something that's hot no matter what. It's going to stay either cool or it's going to stay hot. I don't think you can put them both in the same bag though at the same time, hot and cold. So um, all you do is you put some um, of those little ice um, packs in there and put your lunch in there and you're ready to go. So if you're thinking of making one for yourself or for your child or someone else's, um, I think they make really, really, really great um, back-to-school gifts. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will try to go through that tutorial and see if I can't piece it together the best that I possibly can without making it a 20-minute long video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.